Google Docs is absolutely amazing, but it does have to be used right. And the easy way to go about learning the features of a Google Doc Drive Doc, so to speak, is to read. Once you begin reading, you'll get the hang of it. Google does not offer really a good way to learn to use it. And the reason that it doesn't have tutorials is because it keeps changing. Things keep getting added, new apps, people keep developing things. So it's unfortunate, but that's the way things are. This is the latest way that it looks. But two weeks from now, it might look completely different. So what's the point? Well, the point is once you start using it, you really get good at it. And you get good of, at using other programs that are online. So notice I'm in my Gmail account. There are different ways of getting there. Here is my Google+. Plus. Here is where everything is. That's me at the top right, and I have two accounts. So the plus, of course, if you click on it. So actually, if you don't use it, you lose it. So let's try using it because that's what it's really about. So I'm going to go into this area here and notice what I get. I get everything that Google has to offer. Okay, so I've got Google+. Plus. Okay, and there's another Google kind of thingy. YouTube, Google Play, if I'm using an Android. Of course, if I'm using an iPhone or Apple device, an Apple device, it's a little bit different. There's news. You can get notified of different things. The calendar, the Google Drive. Okay, support, voice, if you want to use the phone, blogger. And then if that's not enough, if you scroll down, you can get more. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at more because there is a lot more. There's your email. Okay, so let's uh, see what's happening here. You can also translate and then you get add a shortcut and more. Okay, there's the more. Shopping, finance, and then even more. Now this even more is right there. And that means that you can add different apps and different things and you'll see them appearing. And here they are basically my favorite, but you might see your favorite here like Earth. My favorite is actually Google Scholar. And it's really unfortunate that I have to go into more to access it, but you can get everything here. If you go into more, everything that Google has to offer, okay, for everyone. So let's get back to where we were. Okay, so here I am. So what do I do? I'm going to go into, and notice I can open a picker, sort options, list view. How do I want to view them like that or like that? Alphabetical, last modified. Okay, these are all reading parts. I can also, you see here they are in my folders got lots of folders so I can organize things because I have a lot of documents. You bet. I've been using Google Docs before it became a drive and driving everyone crazy because they don't really know what's happening. So let me just take you through create a new doc. Okay, these are my options. There's the menu. Notice top right click on this. So I've got docs sheets, slides, settings, help and feed, and drive. Okay, so where am I going? Well, I'm going to go into this one, okay, because actually I want to create a new doc. Now, yesterday I was able to go into this, open the menu, and then just start the doc here. Now it has changed. I, and, and this is going to change, so don't be surprised. I'm going to go into another area, into the drive, okay, in the arrow. Click on that, and then I'll be able to create a new document, okay? So I'm going to go into my drive. As I said, Google keeps changing things and deleting things as well. So you may find that certain things have disappeared. Okay, so let's go into new, 
Okay, I'm going to click on you and decide what doc I want to get. Okay, so here I can get a new folder, file upload for my system, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and then there's more. Okay, so feel free to get the more. Okay, these are all different things that I added. These are called add-ons. The name may change, but right now they're add-ons. And I'm not kidding. This is how Google works. So you have to be flexible and ready for change. It's good for life. Okay, Google Doc. Okay, let's go into Google Doc. Some people prefer to add information and share and collaborate on a Google spreadsheet. But I like the old-fashioned Google Drive Doc. Okay, so first thing, give it a title. All right, we want things organized. So I'm going to call this testing Google Drive. Google Drive to see what's new. As I said, there's always something new. Okay, so there I've got, and then I can put it in a folder. Okay, in order to put it in a folder, notice the folder is up here in case you missed it. There it is. I'm going to create a new one. Okay, there we go. Create a new folder. Okay, and this is how it's done. I just give it a name. I'm going to call this Google Drive Tutorials. And believe me, they're going to change and there'll be plenty to add there. And then I'm going to click on Move. If you don't move it, it's not going to move by itself at this time, maybe in the future. Okay, so right now, I like to give it a title. So I'm going to call it um, using Google Doc Write. Okay, now what does it mean to use it right? Okay, and I'm going to uh, go into notice my editor here. Get to know your editor. Okay, there are the add ons that you might want to add on. And I'm going to go into this part and click on it. And I'm going to add a title, heading one. And then I'm going to notice what I'm doing here. I'm going to put it in the center. And if you know Word Docs, you're fine with this. Okay, so there it is in the center. Now, my next favorite thing is the table. I love tables. Don't ask me why. But I, I enjoy seeing things in a table. So I'm going to go into table right there. Okay, so here we are going into the table. Okay, now, now you ask me, well, why use a table when you can actually use the spreadsheet? Good question. All right, so I'm going to, let's say I have one, two, three, four, five. I can just go into the, I just clicked on the right of my mouse. Okay, and then I'll go into, I can insert row above. Well, I can insert below left insert left column insert and then i can delete delete row delete column okay so i'm gonna delete column how's that there i delete a column now i only have four i want to delete one more column this is how i do it because i never know what i want to do okay so here i go delete another column so i have three okay now i'm going to write um three things comment that's really important I want to be able to add comments. I want to be able to get notifications. So I want to set that. And I also want to add images. Okay, three things. So let's go into, the, first of all, add a row. Remember, row below. Then I'll add another one just to make it look better below. Okay, so notice what I'm going to do now. I am going to go into the comment box to show you how it works. Okay, and I have two places, multiple places. I can go into insert or I can go into comments right there. Don't forget, I can also share this with lots of people and decide how I'm going to share it. We'll talk about that some other time. So let's go into insert. Okay, and then notice what I have here. Image, link, equation, drawing, lots of things. And then I have the comment. Now, notice the comment for some reason was grayed out. And the reason it was grayed out is because I have nothing to comment on. So let's try this one. Maybe this one will be more user friendly. What do you think? Click on that. It's still grayed out. You see, it's grayed out. I can't use it. 
Why? Because I need to know what I'm commenting on. So there, notice what I did. I just took my mouse over that and then I'm going to go back into insert and now notice the comment is showing. Voila. And now I can add my comment. Now notice where the comment goes. It goes here on the right. So let's go to the right here. Let's uh, let's do that again in case you missed it. So I'm going to highlight, go over. I can do it right to left or left to right. And then I go into insert and there's the comment showing. Or I can go into comments on the right and notice it's showing here again. Okay, so let's go back here where I want to comment. I don't have to do this. I can just point anywhere. Okay, and then I'll get the comment. Just get your... There it is. Okay, just point it somewhere. Notice now it's highlighted by itself. I didn't do that. So here I can add. Um, so, oh, you need, I can decide this. You need to point the pointer cursor point the cursor on a word, phrase, paragraph, something to enable the comment feature to show up. Okay. And then I don't forget to click on comment or this is not going to work. So, okay. And then you click on comment. Okay. And there it is. Now, notice what you have here. If you go over here, you'll get lots of features. I can edit. And I love this part because I, I need to edit all the time. Now, how do you, you see now it's not showing. Resolve is not showing. So I'm going to click on this whole thing. There it goes. Now it's open. And then there are three dots. Click on the three dots and I get edit or delete. So I can edit it or delete. Or I can add another extra comment. If I want to. Okay, so those are the features. In addition, let's say I would like to add a link or something else. Okay, notice I am in editing mode here. If this is confusing, it's all about reading. Trust me. Okay, so there it is. So I can be in editing mode, I can be suggesting mode or viewing mode. So I can see how other people are seeing this. If I go to viewing mode, this is how people will see it. You know why? Okay, because I'm in the middle of that comment area. Suggesting, this is where people can suggest. And notice I can also edit here, but I can't do anything, right? I'm stuck. Okay, they're canceled. Okay, so actually I'm also in suggesting mode. Okay, there. Okay, let's go back. Play around with it. You know, it's the only way to learn. Viewing, still not there. Okay, because viewing is for the world, and I'm not going to show them my comment box. Okay, this is only in editing mode. Okay, now, so far, let's go into sharing. Sharing top right. Now I'm going to see if I can share it with the world. Now, how do I do that? They change this, okay? I need to go into advanced. Okay, so let's go into advanced. And here I have the option of sharing it in any way I want. Right now it's private. I'm going to change that to make it public. I like public. Three options, public on the web or anyone with the link. Okay, the difference is that anyone can get it if it's public. Now, do I keep it view, comment, or edit? I might want to have it comment. Let people comment. I can always delete their comments. Okay, why not? Now, another important thing is um, these parts. Okay, notice, learn more learn more learn more okay so google offers you a chance to learn so take it learn here i can add people that i want and let me add myself as another well you know maybe i'll add nah, i'll just add myself okay there i go and i can edit but i'm here anyways but i'll add it okay i'm here so it's okay now another thing if you've got a oops if you've got Let's go back to advanced. If you're afraid that people might compromise your work and add people, go into change here. See what it says. Really important. Right now, editors are allowed to add people and change the permissions. So whoever is the editor can just take over 
and you can be thrown out. I generally uh, use this one, okay, this. Only the owner can change permissions. Editors cannot add or remove people or change the visit. Okay, so why take a chance? You might collaborate, enjoy collaboration, but who knows? Okay, and then don't forget the done. You need to do the done. If you don't do the done, it's not going to get done. Okay, so make sure that you get the done. Okay, there we go. So done. And then that's it. Okay, so that's about comments. Let's go on to see what else is in the insert. Just take a look and enjoy. So there's insert. Just take a look at it. Take a look at everything. There are amazing things here. You can hyperlink. I hope you know how to hyperlink. But again, notice where's the hyperlink? Insert. All right, let's try this. Let's do this and try again. Is the hyperlink here? Still not there. It used to be here. Now, here it is. Okay, so you can hyperlink. What's nice about hyperlinking, you can just add words here and then you can just find things. Okay, right now it's under headings, but I can make the text something else. Okay, and then I can find things. So let me hyperlink. Um, Let's see, younglearnertsig.org. Okay, that's the text. See if I can find it. And there, welcome, I found it. This is one way of finding things. Notice on Google. So there, I'm going to, that's, comment is gone. I don't like that. Why did I do that? I don't like that. So we go back, no problem. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now it's back. What if somebody has written something and I don't like it? I go into file and I change history. Yes, you can make making history and changing history by going into C revision. Do you see that? C revision. And then I can see all the times the revisions and I can just revert back. Okay, show more details. Okay, these are all the times that Nelly added all kinds of stuff. Where are the C details? For those of you that missed that, right here. Again, lots of reading, and it's good for you. It's good for students because they need to read. Teachers are fine. Okay, so next, notifications. Okay, we finish with notifications. Okay, that's next. Let's go into comments. Now, this is crazy, but that's where it is now. Under comments, click on comments, and look what I get. I get notifications when I click on comments because, where's the rationale? Because how do you want your comments? Okay, how do you want them? So let's click on comments and see what happens. Now you don't click on it, you go to here. All right, notice here, the like menu pointing down, change email notification. Now here you can have all replies. Only people who reply to you'll be notified or none if you don't wanna be notified by anybody when they do something. So when somebody does anything on the dock, if you have all, you should get email notifications that someone has done something, okay? Next, images. I wanna add images. I love images. Where are the images? Well, where do you think they are? Insert, exactly. Okay, so let's go to insert. And then you'll see image, image, not drawing, because you can also draw here, image. There it is. There's the image, okay, under insert. Okay, so let's go into insert again. Click on the image, and then you've got options. You can upload, you can take a snapshot, you can do it by URL, your album, Google Drive, and you can search for images, okay? So let's search. Yeah, we're going to search. Why not? And this way I can get copy, okay, here, stock images live. Where do I want them from? Learn more. Okay, I can also get, there we go. Well, Google. Okay, so I'm going to write down I, A, T, F, well, young learners. Young learners, teenagers, teenagers. There, let's see what I get there. Okay, what image will I get? Oh, look at all the images. Do they pertain? Do they not? Learn more. Any type. Now, any type. I can get face, photo, clip art, drawing. What do I want? Face. 
let's see, these are faces of people involved with young learners, teenagers, when the sick, okay? So that's one way of doing it. And which do I like? I don't know which I like. I don't like any of them. <coughs> I'm going to get something else. I'm going to get, excuse me for that, smiling faces. I like that better. Smile. Ah, that's a cute baby. There we go. And then I'm going to click on select. Notice this is from Wikipedia, so it's fine. Where's my image? Ah, there it's coming. There's the baby instead of <coughs> two. Now I might want to make this smaller. Okay, so let's make it smaller. There, notice I can play around above, inline. Okay, break text, wrap text, anywhere, wherever I want it. Okay, so that's how you get, you just you know, put your mouse over it and get it to move wherever you want it to go. There we go. Here we go. Wherever you put your, get it and put it. Okay. And that's it. So these are, there's an end of that. Okay. I want to go back because into history, because I missed something. Okay. Let's go back into history. History is there, right? I want to get back here. I can either go here and go back. Okay. And see, okay. All the things that I did. Okay, or I can go into history again, see revision history, and then go for more detailed and then get all the details here. The last one. Okay, there, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then I can revert to history, restore this revision. Okay, restore. There's the baby. And I'll just write the word image. How's that? Okay, I hope you got something on how to add comments get notified and add images. Thank you.